You can organise your onboarding process by assigning a predefined task list to new employees, their manager, or another employee who needs to support the process. This ensures that no important actions are missed out and progress can be tracked. To set this up, you need to create onboarding tasks, define workflows, which can be different for different parts of the business, and then automate your workflows so that they're automatically triggered for new employees when they join the business. Alternatively, tasks and workflows can also be manually assigned as needed. All onboarding settings are found under Settings and then Onboarding. Select the Tasks tab to add all your onboarding tasks. Click Add Task. Note that the options available in this drop-down are dependent upon Sage HR modules that you have available. With the Performance module, you will have more options. Give the task a relevant name. You can also enter an optional description. If there is a relevant link to help with this task, you can add the link name and URL here, and it will be added to the task. Tasks can be associated with category here. But first, categories need to be set up from the Categories tab. A task can be assigned to an employee, their direct manager, or to a specific named individual. In this case, select the HR Manager Benjamin from the default Assignee drop-down. Any task that has an employee assigned will be created as a task to be completed by that employee, and these tasks appear on the Assigned Employees dashboard. If required, select Require Attachment. When enabled, this task can only be completed by attaching a document. This document will be linked to this task and will also appear under Documents. Define when the task is sent out after the employee start date and how long before the task has to be completed. If you wanted to assign a task three days before an employee starts, you can do this by entering a negative value. Click Save and your task has been saved. To add a new category, select Categories under Onboarding on the menu. Click Add Category. Give the new category a relevant name. In this case, Finance. Click Save and the Finance category has been saved for you. This category will now be available to select the next time you need to add a new task. You can also create a task with a document attached. Click Add Task. Select Document. Give the task a relevant name. Select the document you need from the Document drop-down list. Note that the document must first have been uploaded to Sage HR in order for it to appear here. Choose a category. Enter the relevant dates for completion. Click Save and then your task is saved and shows on the list of tasks. Workflows are defined from the Workflows tab. From the Settings menu, select Onboarding, then Workflows. You can have one onboarding workflow for the whole company, or define separate ones for different parts of the business, as you can see in this example. In this case, you need to add a new workflow. Click Add New. Give the workflow an appropriate name in this case, Finance. You can make this workflow available for all teams or remove this check mark to select a specific team from the check boxes below. Now click Add Task. That's the button that looks like a plus sign. Select the tasks that you wish to include in the workflow. It doesn't matter in which order you do this, as you can move them around later. Once you've selected all the relevant tasks, click Save. You've created a new workflow named Finance. Now the workflow has been created, you have the ability to edit, duplicate or delete it. When creating workflows, you can expand task details by clicking on the Added Task and change the values, like Assignment Date, Assignee or Due Date. 
This means that you can use the same task in different workflows and have different conditions. You can also add a task into the workflow that will only be triggered once the previous task has been completed. In this case, the etiquette task will only be assigned once the introduction to finance has been completed. When a new employee joins the company and you want to automatically trigger a workflow for the employee, you can do this from the Automations tab. Click Add New. Give the automation a relevant name. Select the workflow you want to automate from the drop down and select the appropriate team, location, or position where a new employee will trigger the workflow. In this case, it's the finance team. If you wanted to pause an automation, you can do so by removing this check in the active checkbox. Toggle it back on again to restart the automation. Click Save. You've now set up a new workflow automation for the finance team. Now that it has been created, you can check here that the automation is active, how many times it has been run, edit it, or delete the automation. If you prefer not to automate workflows, but rather want to manually assign a workflow or individual onboarding tasks, you can do this from the onboarding tab on the employee's profile. Manually assigning workflows gives you the opportunity to adjust dates and assignees and even remove tasks that are not required before any tasks are assigned. When a new employee has onboarding tasks assigned for them, they will see a Your Onboarding tab available from the left-hand menu. On their onboarding page, they will be able to view track and complete the tasks assigned to them. They will not see the tasks that have been assigned to other employees. The onboarding page also highlights some useful resources and allows the new employee to complete some suggested actions like uploading a profile picture or updating their personal information. The new employee will also see the tasks assigned to them on their dashboard under the My Tasks widget. Anyone else who has tasks assigned to them for the new employee, like the employee's direct manager, will see the tasks appear on their dashboard. When a new employee has onboarding tasks assigned for them, they will see a Your Onboarding tab available from the left menu. The new employee will also see the tasks assigned to them on their dashboard under the My Tasks widget. Progress of onboarding tasks can be tracked from the onboarding tab on the employee's profile or by using the onboarding tasks report. When all onboarding tasks have been completed for a new employee, the employee will no longer see the Your Onboarding tab.